Good morning. Back in the winter time, when I was planning my race season for 2023, I started out just coming up with a list of all the races I could find in the province. Then I marked off the ones that I had done before and wanted to go back to, and the new ones that I wanted to do. This led me to a problem. I wanted to do Survivor Fest again, but I also wanted to try out the Klondike Ultra, but they're on the same day. So I came up with a crazy solution. What if I did the 50k at Klondike and then started the six hour timed event at 2 a.m. later that night at Survivor Fest. I checked the driving distance and it was logistically possible, so I signed up for both. That brings us to today, June 9th, 2023. It's currently 4 a.m. I'll be getting packed up and leaving an hour to make the two hour drive from my place to the Sand Hills Wildland. The Klondike 50K starts at 8 a.m. When I finish the race, I'll drive back home, get cleaned up, eat, then get a ride for the one hour drive to Sherwood Park for Survivor Fest. Then I'll have a nap and start that race at 2 a.m. So 30 hours from now, I should be back home, uh, ready for bed after finishing both events. Sounds like a solid plan to me. Time to see how it all works out. Well, went through the drive through picked up my breakfast champions. Now I'm on my way. Woo! Hey, almost there. It's been a peaceful drive through the country. Just thought I'd stop and see a beautiful sunrise coming up here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good day. Just pulled into Fort Assiniboine. Found a giant wagon wheel and a pickaxe. Pretty cool. Well, made it to uh, start landing Klondike Ultra. Race starts in 15 minutes. Just uh, saying hi to everyone. <laughs> Go to the bathroom and then I'll be ready to go. Yeah, here we go. Just started. <laughs> hey, just over an hour in. And, uh, really the location name says it all. Sand, hills, wildland. It's pretty much everything I see. Some sand, hills, and wildland. Hey. I didn't talk much about the course yet, but the uh, 50k follows these red flags. 27k follows the blue, so it looks like when the 10, 27 starts, they'll be going that way. But I'm going this way. And uh, 100k does two loops of a red flag course, so it's uh, for me. I got a 50k single loop. Uh, sun is up, bugs are out. But still looking like a gonna be a pretty decent day. Sure wouldn't mind some rain. <laughs> Alright. Just coming through the first aid station. Thank you. <laughs> Heading back out again. Boop boop. Alright. I'm a little over 20k in now. Just meandering through the forest. Uh Weather is staying pretty nice. A little cooler than I was expected, so a little bonus there. And uh, yeah, just getting some peaceful alone time right now. Not us all around. Oh, hello there. Still just running in the woods. Couldn't ask for a better day. A nice cool breeze blowing through. So nice. Birds chirping. 
Huh. Well, what do we got here? Butterfly. Huh. Yep. Pretty darn peaceful day. Uh, just over 25k. So I should be coming up to the second aid station right away. Uh, second aid station, I'm told, is at the 28k mark. So, uh, oh, we'll see what's there in, uh, in a little bit. Hey, just got to aid station two, filled up all my water, having a banana. <laughs> hey, talk to you in a bit. Hey, haven't checked in in a bit. Just coming up on 32 kilometers. Oh, hey, hey, what are you, a turkey? Get out of here! Ah! Ah! Oh, I did not plan that. A little excitement there. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, 32 kilometers in, and uh, nothing much eventful, just running through the woods. Whew. All right, let me catch my breath. See you in a minute. Hey, I just got all restocked at the third aid station, party aid station. I was going to say, it's a good aid station. Yeah, we know how to party. Our party's better than Jen Hamill's party. Yeah, can you yell that at the... Make sure you tell Jen Now, I'm going to get going. I got some ice some fluids. and fluids. Time to finish this thing. Woo! Hello. Just rounding up to 40k. Still forest, pretty much the same all the way. <laughs> Greg's with me now. <laughs> Just uh, finishing her out. All right, see you again soon. Hey, coming up on the home stretch soon. Feeling okay. Muscles are uh, stiff as to be expected with all these hills. But, uh, no pains. Um, yeah, I think I should be in good shape. Oh, all right. Finish line soon. Ah, getting close. Okay, now for real the end is near. Woo! <sighs> now we're almost there. So close. Apparently, I just gotta do another hill. Great. Huh. Here we go. Final stretch. Coming into the finish line. Race one done. Oh. Take a morning. There we go. Right here. Oh, quick, there's someone coming up behind you, Mike. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, phase one of my master plan complete. 
finished the Klondike Ultra at the Fort Assiniboine Sand Hills Wildland Park. Uh, had a quick shower. That was nice. After the race, they had showers there. They had a food truck, so I had some uh, vegan uh, cheesy macaroni with broccoli, which is really good. Uh, and then I was able to charge my phone for a bit, and now I thought, I'd stop, say hi, say I'm on my way home, and uh, moving on to phase two of the plan. All right, talk to you in a bit. Hey, so I uh, had another shower and uh, laid down for, I don't know, an hour and a half. And uh, got up, got ready. My wife drove me out here to Sherwood Park. Ready to start Survivor Fest for 2 a.m. So I've got 45 minutes to uh, just sit and chill. You can see these people running. These are the... Uh, 24 hour runners, so they're already coming up, coming close to 18 hours so far. Yeah, looking forward to getting out there. Popped my blisters already. Legs feel pretty good. All right, talk to you in a bit. Hey, no rough running now. <laughs> I'll take him later. Hello. I'm an hour in, it's about 8.6 kilometers. Been running consistently, feels good. I think I'm gonna take a couple walk laps <laughs> and see, see where I'm at. Woo. Hey, We're, uh, I'm two and a half hours in. It's starting to seem like this wasn't a great idea. Pretty tired. But, yeah, whatever, we'll get there. Hey, so we're out here a little over three hours. We just did a turnaround, going the other direction now. The uh, bottoms of my feet are very sore, so I'm not moving very well. But, uh, yeah, all right, sun's coming up. Hey, four hours in now. Had some bacon, potatoes, a couple little chunks of bagel. Starting to wake up a little bit. Uh, two hours to go. Hey, less than an hour and a half to go. Starting to wake up and perk up more. Um, yeah, not moving well. My feet feel awful. But I am still moving. So, yeah, looks like I'll uh, finish this thing with at least five hours, 45 minutes of moving time out of the possible six hours. So, feels like a win to me. All right, Woo. Okay, into the final hour. Gotta finish strong now. Looks like a hazy day. <laughs> but uh, I get to sleep through as soon as I get home. Woo! Hey, just finishing my last lap. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Well, my uh, big race weekend is over. Got home from Survivor Fest and slept for six hours. Uh... Yeah, feeling okay other than my, my feet and got a fair bit of sun. But uh, in the end, not a, not a great idea to do two races and uh, back to back like that. But uh, I got to hang out with all my 
trail running friends out at Klondike, which was a great event. Uh, thanks to Monty for putting on a, a heck of a good race. Uh, we got, got to sit around afterwards and chat and it was a great time. And then I got to go visit all my Survivor Fest family. See all those people crushing it, people beating world records. Um, just a lot of people having an amazing day out there. So it was fun to just be a part of it. So I highly recommend uh, both events to people. Don't recommend doing them on the same same time. All right, see you back in September. No races for a while for me.